You already know what it is. It's your brother, your brother, Virgil Berry, a.k.a. Stats with the Facts, man. And we here, man. Tap in and walk with us, man. Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page. Uh, first things first, especially considering this situation, all praises be to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, show up. I'm out here in Of course, smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, and share on your social engineering. Uh, this story right here is pretty tragic. You know? Of course, I'm not going to say everybody's talking about it because everybody ain't talking about it. But, uh, uh, us real ones is definitely going to talk talk about it, and I, you know, I wanted to wait till I heard this story. So a little bit more information came out after the sentence for me to speak on it. Uh, I have to write the names down because I forget. There's a lot of names: uh, Michael, Corey Jenkins, and Eddie Parker. Them brothers got their justice. You hear me? So all praises be to the Most High God, Yeshua the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, for giving them brothers the justice they deserve. You understand me? Uh, the Goon Squad. This is Mississippi burning 2024. That's why I named the video such. Right? You ever seen that movie Mississippi burning? Anyway, you got these cops, two of them. Uh, Hunter Elwer and Jeffrey, Jeffrey Middleton. Jeffrey Middleton and uh, all the other guys got since everybody got like 17 years 20 years i think the ringleader guy he got like 47 years something like that all rightfully so um these cops called themselves the goon squad uh, if you from georgia atlanta specifically back in the early 90s they had a squad called the red dogs you hear me uh they had similar little uh task force in every little city in the 90s. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, up until the early 2000s, and even up until the day. The Goon Squad is what this group of cops in Mississippi called themselves. And uh, what they would do is they would use their uh, authority and their power of the badge to spew and spread their racially motivated so-called crime fighting. You know, I had experience with police like the Goon Squad in my day. You understand me? And, uh, what they did was, these two brothers was helping this white lady out. So the story, so the story goes, right? And I guess this is a part of Mississippi that's still on that racist stuff. So I guess they seen these two brothers frequenting in this house too much. They was feeling some type of way about it. So they called the goon squad on them. They went over there to the dude's house, broke in the house. I'm gonna say broke in because they didn't have a search warrant. So they had a right to be there. So they entered the house illegally, more than likely. Pretty sure that neither one of those brothers gave them consent to come in the house without a warrant. I wouldn't, you know? So uh, they go basically pull a uh, kick though. <laughs> they pull a kick though on the brothers, uh, beat them up, pour alcohol on them, syrup on them, uh, got them uh, milk on them, like, right? They taser them. One of the cops put the Roscoe in the dude's mouth and shot him in the mouth. Came out the side of his neck. He scarred for life. He, I could tell he talked different as a result. One of the other brothers, if not both, they did uh, sexually violate, violatory things to them. Uh, uh, something about they used sex toys and inserted them. In. Come on, man. Pause. Right? This is demonic behavior, y'all. We ain't gonna make no mistake. Y'all know how we do it over here at A Real Talk Podcast. You're not gonna bite my tongue. I'm not gonna hold uh, no, no, I'm not gonna hold no cards. It is what it is. This level of debauchery and diabolical behavior is demonic. And they called themselves the Goon Squad. Do y'all know what a goon is, man? A goon is a, a, a idiotic 
a basically a stupid hitman, dumb, dumb, uh, dumb ass security, if you would, right? And uh, I think this squad earned the name Goom Squad, and they definitely deserve every bit of time they're gonna get, if not more. And I guarantee, you, wherever they send these boys. Oh, they're going to get tortured wherever they go because sadly in Mississippi state uh, penitentiary system is mostly black folks down here. So mostly black folks is locked up in Mississippi. So, you know, man. Uh, yeah, y'all, man. You know, like I say, man, they're coming for all of us, man. And when I say they're coming for all of us, I mean, of course, these police broke the law. I mean, any cops operating under racially motivated hatred under the guise of fighting crime like that. They need to be arrested. They need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and thrown in the deepest, darkest pit of a jail cell. That's what they deserve. That's what they should get. Right? Let's make no mistake about that. But when I say they're coming for us all, this is not respect to race. Uh, of course, this probably has been going on in Mississippi for a long time. I wouldn't doubt that. Uh, it's just got to a point where they just took it too far. They just took it way too far. And lots of people know about this. And these guys are not intimidated or weren't coerced in any way. So they went along with their civil suit. So uh, let's give them brothers a round of applause for having the courage and the testicular fortitude to come forth. Because I'm pretty sure the entire police system and structure in that county, if not the state of Mississippi, pretty sure they all want some corrupt shit. I'm pretty sure they all are very corrupt. The judges, the prosecutor, the police, the sheriff, the bailiffs, the, uh, man, the whole damn structure, I'm pretty sure it's terrible. And this brings light to a lot of stuff we be talking about, man. Uh, we don't do victimhood over here. But whenever somebody does something like this and they're supposed to uh, be law enforcement, they need to get held to the fullest extent of the law. And I don't even think that these guys got the fullest extent of the law. I don't think so. They should have got the max on every one of their charges they got. How many every years they ended up being. Sound like they got some old ran consecutive type stuff on me. Like all the charges just was ran con consecutive. Or should I say concurrent? Would have said like to me. But they're going to the who's guy. They're going to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? So just pay attention to stuff like this, y'all. Right? Uh, the police are not our friend. Uh, with that being said, all police, most police, do not operate like how the goon squad do. Most police, even in places like Mississippi, most police of them, I'm pretty sure decent people who just want to do their job and go home. But of course you have the certain groups of people who want to take their job to the next level, abuse their power, misuse their authority, and take advantage of people. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, I respect that the brother apologized to the officer. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my people probably won't agree with something like that. But let me put this into perspective for y'all, right? Uh, vengeance is mine Thus saith the Lord You know what I'm saying I hear a lot of people talking about They believe in God And they Whatever they man, Believe in the most high way Whatever, whatever. Me, man, But uh, kind of stuff like that You know what I'm saying And I'm not knocking nobody Listen here man You, If you feel like you don't want to Whatever like, Me personally I'm going to forgive Because I want to be forgiven You know what I mean But at the same time uh, No No uh, no uh, leniency whatsoever. Uh -uh. Uh, the fullest extent of the law. All right? uh, no slap on the wrist. Uh, person, if it was me, uh, they would have had to kill me. Because I wouldn't have been at all. They would have to kill me. They would have had to hurt a body that night. Because I wouldn't have been at all. At all. They would have had to kill me to calm me down. You understand me? So with that being said, y'all, let's smash the like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, share with your social engineering. You know what I mean? Don't use, don't, don't allow this incident right here to uh, 
clouds of dust here about all police. All police ain't like this. Most police, y'all, let's just be honest. We need the police, man, y'all. Don't allow this situation <coughs> to fuel your fire of going along with this idea that we need to defund our police agencies around America. No, we do not. But at the same time, realize that some cops are like this. Not all of them are, though. Most cops, I'm talking about the overwhelmingly mass majority of cops, are pretty decent people. Pretty nice people. They just want to do their job and go home. They don't want to be on none of that extra stuff. So, you know what I mean? Uh, just, you know, man, stay prayed up, man. Love on each other, man. Uh, blessing to them two brothers uh, for getting the justice that they uh, so doofully and rightfully deserve. And, uh, y'all cops, like the lawyer said, man, y'all be on the lookout, man, all them days, and y'all just beating up on brothers and sisters and, you know, abusing and misusing and, you know what I'm saying, your power and your authority, man, all that stuff is over with, man. They coming to prosecute your ass, man. And I'm telling you, they coming for y'all, too. Y'all thought y'all was going to keep getting away with stuff like this? Stop it. Like I said, y'all, man, smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, share your social engineering. Hey, Real Talk Podcast. <laughs>